this 2009 H1N1 began circulating in pigs in 1918. Uh, at the same time, the 1918 influenza virus outbreak was occurring in humans. But because these two viruses were in different hosts, they evolved differently. So they both have a common ancestor going back to 1918. But because the swine H1N1 was in pigs, it evolved differently from human H1N1. And now that swine H1N1 is basically a new virus to humans and the pre-existing immunity we have to seasonal H1N1 doesn't pr really protect us significantly from it. We do have a new influenza vaccine. It's going to protect not just against three kinds of influenza, but four. Mm. And so those vaccines will be widely available, but not available at every immunization location. One hundred and twenty six Oklahomans have been hospitalized, more than half just last week. So far, no one has died in Oklahoma, but deaths are reported in several other states. Last flu season, thirty five Oklahomans died from the illness. There are multiple strains that circulate each year. This season, the predominant strain of the virus is h one n one, the same strain responsible for a global pandemic in two thousand and nine. Is there mercury in that blue shot? <laughs> there is an extremely small amount, not anything that's dangerous. And it is preservative free. Why do they put that in there? I don't understand the preserve the um, the, the vial, like these the preservative free are drawn up mm -hmm. individually, so it's more expensive. The vials they can do one vial so you can buy it at a cheaper price. Fluzone's own patient information sheet says that animal studies haven't been conducted with Fluzone. In fact, it says it is not known whether Fluzone can cause fetal harm when given to a pregnant woman or if it can affect reproduction capacity. Fluzone should be given to a pregnant woman only if clearly needed.